No, this isn't Soapbox. Um, I'm Sharon Marsh, and as you know, I'm a recent new mum to baby Betsy. As a new mum, there's lots of things that I wanted to have help with, like how to help my baby sleep, how to help through teething, how to help through wind problems. And so I turned to a lovely baby guru, a baby expert here. This is Lou Tusi, who's been teaching me baby massage. Um, I found it absolutely brilliant and it's really, really helped Betsy. So what I did was I asked my friend Lou to come along and maybe show us some tips and tricks that you can do at home. Um, and the hope is that it works for you as much as it's worked for me and Betsy. So let's start off. First of all, baby massage, it's, it's nothing new, is it? No, it's been going for a good while, but it's become more popular given that there's been a lot of research showing just how much it benefits mum and baby. Um, is it the fact that we're stimulating all the baby's systems um, or is it just that it makes a really strong connection with mum and baby, quality time, appropriate touch and getting everything um, working as, as well as it can when it's a little baby and it's all new and inefficient. Well, let's have a look at the stations we've got here because one of the things sure. I thought is do we have to have lots of really expensive equipment? What do we need to do? So as a mum to get ready for our baby massage, what do I, what do I get? You, you don't need very much, um, just some, most important is the masseur is, masseurs is comfy <laughs> and that's the mum because, or dad uh, or granny. Um, so just to make sure you're comfortable, I suggest yep. something under your bum. Yeah. Um, and then just a mat, clean towel, um, you can use oils. Expensive but, oils, expensive baby massage oils? Absolutely not, just uh, kitchen oils, uh, ideally oils you would eat and no perfume. Um, but if because of nut, nut allergies, I would recommend coconut oil, avocado oil, uh, things like that. Um, and absolutely no perfume. So you just need a little bit of oil, comfy mat um, and some Something to distract them with if they get cross. Shall we bring in the baby? So I've got the first of the baby models here and um, Betsy's having a complete meltdown in the back. Um, hopefully she'll be back later. But this is the incredibly beautiful camel here who's going to be showing us how we do some moves on our tummy if our baby has got colic or reflux. Yes. So um, we're just going to show you a bit of the tummy. The tummy is the soft squidgy bit. Oh. Hello, beautiful. Underneath the chest plate. And it's the tummy is actually here and then it feeds into all the digestive tract. So, so, so winding babies, it's just going towards the exit. So it's in the whole of the hand. This is called the water wheel. It's used the size of, side of the hand. And you can do this if you are holding the baby um, or if, he, if he's um, in your arms sitting down. And it's just this, no, no patting. We're just working with the direction of where everything goes. We're going to the exit. Well, you're looking quite happy about that. Yes. Um, so we would do that sort of how many times? There's no counting, just till it feels nice. And obviously, if your baby's just eaten, you're going to be ultra gentle. But if she hasn't, you can be a little bit firmer because you're, you're, you're not going to be pressing down into the circulation. You're just, just <laughs> stimulating the top. So that's the water wheel. And then the really lovely ones are doing circles. So this is a small intestine which goes around the baby's belly. So that's, if you show it on me, it's around here. Yeah. And then you've got the large intestine going right across here. and that's called a sun and moon. <gasps> and that's lovely when we do some singing. We could do the old wheels on the bus. And what if a baby is constipated? So I know some of the medication that they give you um, to help with things like reflux can leave the baby a little bit bunged up and constipated. Anything we can do to sort of um, move things along? Well, if you've been given med uh, medication by your uh, paediatrician, then, you know, that, that's stick with that. But um, mild colic and reflux can be helped just by keeping the baby upright and by doing baby massage. Um, but this also will help with constipation. So water wheels, circles, and then I'm going to show you um, getting, helping the baby to get her knees into her tummy, which is another thing we do when we, we have tummy ache. Um, but people um, are not aware that we want to be very careful when we bend the baby's legs in to keep their hips level like this and no bouncing or cycling, just a gentle, just a gentle hold. <laughs> and then something might come out, if we're lucky, on camera, a bit of wind. So you just hold it like that for approximately the count of six and then bounce down. And do that a couple of times, little girl. There we go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. And then just mixing that up with some sun and moons, <gasps> little circles. You look so happy. And you can do that directly on the skin with a bit of oil. Yeah. Yeah, she looks very good model. And there's a whole load of, 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 of moves you can do, but everything is just following the peristalsis, so just going towards the exit and doing circles. So if you want to comfort them, you know, or, or win them, don't pick them up and, and pat them on the back? Uh, absolutely, so you could either do it on their front or you just could pick them up and do it anti-clockwise on the back. So do that rather than a pat, do a, do a sort of the same movements on, on the, the back. back. Mm. And then you're done from both directions. Yeah. So I've got Betsy back. Um, she's spark asleep, so I don't want to wake her. But I did want to show you this lovely T-shirt that, um, that show all the lines of the intestine. Mm -hmm. um, so we can see here the shape of everything and how we do it. Are you waking up, Betsy? So it's a quite low down, um, but this would show the uh, esophagus. So this is when babies have reflux. They have such a small gap um, from their esophagus to their mouth. So they get, and it's very immature valve. So keeping a baby upright after they've fed mm -hmm. as much as possible. Um, and then the food will move into the tummy. And this is the bit we're growing to the size of our fists over the first three months. And then down in the small intestine, and then up around the large intestine. It just sort of shows how babies really would, would enjoy um, colic and winding that's clockwise or down towards the exit. Look how chilled she is. She's not even waking up. She's just letting you do the massage. She's that's got a great. super soft tummy there. Yeah. Mums and dads can have a little squidge of their baby's tummy, gently squidge, and feel, and often they can feel when it's, there's trapped wind in there, and just gently softening and loving touch is going to help move things in the right direction. We can't wake Betsy and do the massage on it. So for teething, which is the thing that Betsy's going through at the moment, maybe we can show it on ourselves what to do. That'd sure. be great. So she, she's got teething. Um, it's of course, it's, it's making her wake up a lot. Um, lots of sort of tips on my NCT group. Try this gel, try that. What, what can we do with massage to help? Well, massage has a lot of um, evidence that it does help because it's, it's really stimulating what's going on under the gums and it's, it's helping those little teeth come out uh, by sending oxygenated blood to the area. So uh, if we were to do it on ourselves, just to demonstrate, it's very simple with a smile above the lips. So you're just pressing and it's quite a firm press. Uh -huh. Just all solidly going all, along. All yeah. across, around the lip. As and if you've got a dastardly moustache. You yeah. have. You're drawing a dastardly <laughs> moustache. And then you're doing a, one, a little beard underneath. Uh -huh. And that's going to, because your fingers are big and their faces are tiny, you're actually covering a large surface area of gum. That, again, is getting all... It's quite nice, actually. <laughs> it's super nice. We've got lots of tension in our faces, especially mums. Yeah. Finally, we're going to get stuck into the jaw. Yeah. And do you feel or some tension in there? Yes, actually, do you know what? That feels. I feel like I could do that in the mornings. Just, you know, when you've only had a couple of hours sleep. Sorry, Betsy, but it <laughs> does happen. <laughs> Maybe Mummy should just do this for a few minutes before I get up. So babies do carry tension in their faces, yeah. and they also have got all the little teeth coming at the back, the ones yeah. that are the most painful. So this is going to really help. Doing so it a couple of times a day. Yeah. And it makes them laugh. Makes them happy. Uh, we're moving on to legs now, and my daughter is still sound asleep. So. Isha, the beautiful Isha has come along to demonstrate some leg moves. Um, what do we do? So we're going to use oil for, for the legs today and I've got coconut oil. Just rub the oil by the baby's face. And because if we do it by her face, she gets to, to recognise the sort of routine and also the smell. And we're using repetition as well. So one of the things that I found is really good for reflux or if your baby's positing a lot is, is do the setup that Lou's done here for the massage, which is just pop a little pillow or cushion under them or a rolled up towel or something to get them up. And that, that just helps keep everything down, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So let's have a look. So what do we do on legs? This is Isha now being so our model. We started with uh, Indian milking. So this is a very firm stroke. The only issue is not to lift the baby off the mat, not to lift his body or her body off the mat. And I'm making a firm connection with my forefinger and thumb, and I'm using my own shoulders to relax, because as a mum, you tend to have hunched sh shoulders. Yes, I do. That's all I've been doing, actually. I might do a little bit of that while you're doing that. So that's compulsory for mum to, to look at her shoulders. 
and then we're doing a hug and glide. This is very stimulating and squeezing and sliding. It's a bit like going to the gym. And we're just getting really, using my whole hand, or if it's a tiny baby, you can just use your first four fingers. Squeeze, and then slide to the next bit. Squeeze, slide to the next bit. So you're loving this. And then we're on the sole of the foot. Why do we do the soles of the feet like this? Can they, I mean, um, she won't even be walking yet, will she? This is because there's a, a billion nerve endings in the feet. And it's very, very stimulating. Lots of reflexology connects parts of the feet with different organs in the body. And there's a lot of evidence to show that having your feet massage can, can help different parts of your body function better. So we're just doing a little walking around. And I like to do a song and say, these boots are made for walking. That's just what they do. And one of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over mummy and Do you know daddy. the only song that I can play with her is Cliff Richard, Daddy's Home. We have to play it at least 20 times a day. Cliff is a god in our house. So we do the walking up and down and then we do the little, this, this little piggy went to market, basically. Yeah, this little piggy <laughs> went to market. This is, and you're going up the side of each digit and yep. up the back and front. And then this little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had roast beef or possibly a vegan based product. Yeah, something like that. And this little piggy had none. And this little piggy had a massage with Auntie Lou. And then just to show you the pulse that people might find useful is if, if you put your forefinger behind the baby's toes and hook your thumb behind their ankle and squeeze it together, that's very stimulating. And that could be a tip for mums who are trying to get their baby to stay awake to finish the feed. Just a little, a little pulse mm -hmm. and to see if that helps wake them up a little bit. How are you liking that? So we're just going to finish the massage by doing top of the foot. It's big bone there, big expansive bone and some little ankle circles. These beautiful little ankles all the way around. And finishing with Swedish milking, which is an unusual term. Why do we go that way to finish? It's more relaxing, going towards the heart at the end of a massage. And would you say, I mean, I do that with Betsy every single night after, after a bath. Is it a good sort of bedtime routine to get them it's into? It's a wonderful thing to do. A bedtime routine is the best way to, get, to start getting your children to think about sleeping through the night. So we do that on one leg and then on the next. Well, thank you so much to our, our lovely models. I have to say Camel and uh, Anisha because Betsy didn't get to do anything. Why are you not like this at home? <laughs> Why are you not like this at three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> Just like the idyllic child. Um, thank you, Lou. I really hope this help, uh, helps people at home. I have to say it's something we've been putting in our routine and it has just helped so much and I have been doing it. So thank you for coming in and showing it to everyone at home. Let us know if it works for you. Let me know if your baby just does this all day. Mm.